Chauvin, and Chauvin still on his feet, still taking tackles. Nobody's going to bring him down. Touchdown, Knights. I'll tell you what helped make that play is, is you, Zach you on his feet. He really did a great job of taking the ball right here. You see the replay, you'll see. Number two for number two. Reed Chauvin and Ben A. And off Chauvin. And Chauvin will indeed get that first touchdown of the season for 2023. Touchdown. Nice. Reed Chauvin on the touchdown run. Good blocking out here on the edge. You can see he was at 66. I think it's Moati. Yeah. Stuck with his block long enough for me to look at that play. Chauvin up the middle. Run, yeah. Still going. on his feet. He's still carrying guys. He's still on his feet. Reed Chauvin doing his Marshawn Lynch impersonation and drags pretty much the whole St. Michael Warrior defense with him. <laughs> Off to Chauvin, Chauvin up the middle, and reads Chauvin. It's a oh, touchdown. He's got it in. Touchdown, Knights. Reed Chauvin on the touchdown run, and the Knights have retaken the lead. What a response by the Knights. And you called it, Jason. I mean, like I said, you know, that was the name that you said we would hear more of. And, you know, the Knights had. They showed that consistency right there. Started right around the 50-yard line here and drove the ball down the field in, what, five, six plays? You know, they, they got it into the end zone. Take that. And there's Chauvin, and Chauvin will ease his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Knights. So we saw Brayden George score, and we saw the other star running back for the Knights uh, even the scoring margin with another touchdown run to extend. Knights lead 
back to 13. Again, another another very good play call here by, by Coach Wally Stevens and his offensive staff going double tight ends to the left side, making an unbalanced for me. Hands off to Showman, right side, and Showman going to stand up in the end zone. Touchdown, Knights. Make it number two or number two here tonight. Goal line, great blocking downfield, and it'll be a touchdown, 20 yards. Show back in, hurting the Bulldogs offensively like he did last year. Yeah, this is the this is the crap. I don't, I don't think he can touch that. Bulldogs deflated after giving up the long pass on fourth or third down and 20. And watch right here, he goes, oh, good, good block right there by five, driving all the way into the end zone. That was a good block. Be Reed Chauvin. Chauvin going punch yeah. in for six, and he is in, standing in the end zone. Touchdown, Knights. So might as well share the wealth, right? Brayden yep. George scores first, followed by Reed Chauvin. When you look, everybody's pretty much keying on George. Defensive end or outside linebacker, whatever it is, that was, number 20, just flew out. in motion. They're going to hand off to Chauvin and Chauvin will walk his way into the end zone. Touchdown Knights. Number two for number two tonight. Yeah, just an outstanding play uh, by the offensive line you watch right here. Just driving people off the football. Not been successful inside. It's one of the reasons why Reed Chauvin has been good real successful inside. Chauvin has a nice throw right there. There's Reed Chauvin. He bursts through, and number two will score six. Touchdown, Knights. And again, all of that was set up by those toss plays that they ran. You know? So we're waiting for the other counterpart to break through, and he does right there. Excellent scoring drive for the Pistol Knights. You see right there at the beginning of the play, it's again, it's a three-man front, basically. So... You know, 
Coach Wallace Stevens, and he's a smart guy. He's been around a long time. He's able to see exactly what we were saying up here. Hey. There's Reed Chauvin. Chauvin Good takes cut. a cut, and Chauvin Touchdown. will score. Touchdown, Knights. Reed Chauvin gets another touchdown run, make it two in the second half, and now the Knights' offense is starting to get hot. You know, you go back to the series after the onside kick when when there was the lateral. Man, it could be a one-touchdown game right now. I here. know. Here's the snap, another run up the middle. This time it's Reed Chauvin, and he's inside the 10. He's inside the 5, breaking away from the defense for another Episcopal touchdown. Reed Chauvin has the second rushing touchdown of the night for the Knights, and it's 12-0 Episcopal. Reed, like, this in untouched. Who takes the snap, hands it off to Chauvin. Chauvin left side, still pushing his feet. He's inside the 10, he's inside the 5. It looked like they had him near the 10 yard line, but Reed Chauvin just kept on going, kept turning those legs, and eventually got in the end zone. Super strong kid here, Mario. Again, he's not the biggest in stature, but he is uh, just a big ball of muscle. Uh, one of the strongest power lifters for his weight class in the state he squats over 500 pounds or something silly like that and so uh, one guy's in front of Reed Chauvin here's a snap and Chauvin up the middle nice push from the offensive line he has a huge hole and he's in the end zone once again touchdown for Episcopal Reed Chauvin in the end zone once again great job by the offensive line the Knights cash in on the turnover yeah, I don't know if we'll see this 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 just opens up like the Red Sea you can see right from this angle just look at this open up Right there, I mean, nobody even close. Good job by the receivers. Put hats on hats down. Long, well, so far. Chauvin right up the middle, makes a cut, and nobody's going to touch him after that. Touchdown, Knights. Touchdown, Reed Chauvin. And Chauvin is trying to keep pace with Braden George. And that one's certainly a help with touchdown run, number 15 on the year. Yeah, great job right here by the guys up front. He just snuck through there. You know, it was a trap play, and, and he was able to get a little crease, keep his shoulder squared in the line of scrimmage, and he was able to get downfield. Down here. Chauvin. And then Chauvin, Chauvin easily Chauvin. walks in the end zone to the right side. Touchdown, Knights. Reed Chauvin gets number two. So all five Knights re-breaking touchdowns have been scored by either George or Chauvin. And that was all about the right side of the O-line. Toss it, and it's going to be an easy toss for a touchdown for Reed Chauvin. And why not? Let's have three apiece for the Knights' touchdown leaders this year. Might as well share the load between the two Knights runners and give it another rebrigging touchdown run of this first half. Go. 
And off easy touchdown run for Reed Chauvin. And guess what? Both George and Chauvin are all knotted up at 18 touchdowns apiece. Talk about balance between the two Knights offensive stars. Yeah, and George gives them the, the outside run, that buck sweep, and, and anything outside. We've seen the talk so many times this year out of the night. Uh, Chauvin up the middle, easy walk-in touchdown for number two. Make it number two for number two, Reed Chauvin. And again, we're looking at that bout who has four rushing touchdowns at the end of the season, and they tie each other at 18 apiece again. Yeah, uh, so I mean, I'm thinking that maybe it might be. By Reed Chauvin. Watch out, the train is on the track. I'm not sure number eight knows where he's at right now, buddy. Gotta check on him. The train is on the tracks. Boom. And the beat drops. And the beat drops. 